Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and I'm cracking a pack. Today I'm back with another 1992 Fleer Baseball Wax Pack. Hopefully I can pull one of the cool ProVision art cards, maybe one of the insert all-star cards, and if I'm really lucky, a Roger Clemens career highlights insert card. Let's get to cracking this pack. P. Incavilia, on the downward slope of his career. Greg Jeffries, he came up with a lot of fanfare, had a decent career, but wasn't the superstar everyone imagined. Tony Phillips, hung around for a long time as a utility infielder, outfielder. Dave Magadan, another prospect that came up with the Mets, didn't pan out as a superstar, but had a decent career. Freddie Benavides, don't remember much about him. Dave Island was a Yankees prospect that didn't pan out. Terry Shumpert bounced around from AAA to the majors as a backup infielder. Andy Ashby went on to have a pretty solid career as a starting pitcher, most notably with the Padres. Rod Nichols, middle innings reliever. Scott Ruskin, lefty specialist. Scott Cervais, current manager of the Mariners. A checklist, Rangers, Blue Jays, a Braves and Cubs. Ted Higuera, better known as Teddy Higuera. Pretty good lefty starter with the Brewers in the late 80s, early 90s. Arm injuries shut down his career. John Wayner was a pinch hitter extraordinaire. Slammin' Sammy Sosa. Early on with the White Sox before he made his way to the Cubs. Brett Butler, center fielder, most notably with the Dodgers, Indians, and Giants. And the final card out of the pack is Tiger Tandems. Stacy Jones, whom I don't remember. Bo Jackson, awesome player. Greg Olson was a superstar closer for a number of years. And Frank Thomas was a Hall of Famer. Tiger Tandems, I get it now. They were all players, University of Auburn Tigers. Okay, my favorite card out of the pack, I'm going to go with Slammin' Sammy Sosa. The 1998 season was awesome as Sosa and McGuire battled to break Roger Maris's record. There was a period of time when Sammy Sosa got hot in the summer months, looked like he was going to break it first, and then eventually ceded it to McGuire, yet Sosa still hit 66 home runs that year. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Tell me what your favorite card was out of this pack. Until next time, when I'm back to crack another baseball junk wax pack.